Let's go out and play. A sweet little bunny. A smart little bunny. A cute little bunny. And friends. Miffy was playing in the garden with her ball when Poppy Pig's niece Grunty came running over to Miffy's house. Miffy! Miffy! shouted Grunty. Let's play hide and seek. That's a great game, Grunty, said Miffy. But there are only two of us. We need more than two people to play hide and seek. Look, Miffy, here is Snuffy. Let's go and get Boris and Barbara Bear. Then there will be four of us and Snuffy will be able to watch us play hide-and-seek. They all went off to the forest. Soon they arrived at Boris and Barbara Bear's beautiful wooden house. Hello, Boris. Hello, Barbara. After you finish your work, would you like to play hide-and-seek with us? Yes, said Boris. We would love to play hide-and-seek with you. We have finished cutting the logs now, so we can play. Let's start. Who will be the seeker? No, Snuffy, said Miffy. That wouldn't be fair. You could sniff around and find us too easily. You can have fun just watching us play. I'll be the first seeker and everyone else can hide. Miffy turned her back and slowly began counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Miffy opened her eyes and shouted, Here I come! Ready or not? Miffy began to search the forest. Meanwhile, Snuffy ran up to a tree and began to bark. Boris came out from behind the tree. That's not fair, Snuffy. Miffy is supposed to find us. Then Barbara and Grunty came out from behind the trees where they were hiding. Now we have to start all over again, they said. Yes, said Miffy. You're not supposed to be the seeker, Snuffy. You're not supposed to bark. You must stay quiet and let me look for everyone who is hiding. Once more, Miffy turned her back and closed her eyes while Boris, Barbara and Grunty all ran off to hide. This time, Snuffy was very quiet. Here I come, ready or not, shouted Miffy. She began to look behind every tree. I see you, Boris. I see you, Grunty. Wherever she looked, Miffy could not find Barbara. Where was she? I'm worried that Barbara may be lost, said Miffy. I've looked behind every tree. Now you can bark, Snuffy. Help us find Barbara. Snuffy ran straight to one tree and began to bark loudly. But Barbara wasn't there. Snuffy carried on barking. They all looked up. Sure enough, there was Barbara on a branch way up in the tree. What a great place to hide, said Miffy. Without Snuffy, I would never have found you.